Today we will be talking about Oracle 11G's Automatic Diagnostic Repository, ADR, as well as the ADR Command Interpreter, ADRCI. This presentation was written and presented by myself, Sahaj Kataria. ADR is one of the many new features introduced in Oracle's newest release, 11G. It includes a command line utility and is a file-based directory structured repository containing Oracle's Oracle generated diagnostic data including trace logs, various dumps, and alert logs. This diagnostic information can then be used by DBAs to keep an eye on the overall health of the database as well as examine specific problems. This collective directory contains all of Oracle's diagnostic data, providing DBAs with one central location to search through across all aspects of either single or multiple instances. Another advantage this directory-based structure provides is the ability to connect, ex connect the data to, into external reporting systems. The background dump dest and the user dump dest parameters we previously used have been replaced with the diagnostic dest parameter, which can be seen and called upon as follows. Now let's talk a little bit about the diagnostic desk parameter. This parameter when called points to the topmost directory in a structure stored external to the database. The directory is separated by product, product ID, and instance name since there can be multiple directory structures under one diagnostic desk. As you can see here on your left, this is an overview of what the directory is structured like. To the right, we can see some of the key subdirectories and their contents. The alert subdirectory, which contains the XML alert log file. The cdump, which has the core files. The incident subdirectory, which actually has multiple subdirectories within it, which is where the incident packages go. The trace subdirectory, which has the background, server, and SQL trace files, as well as the old non-XML alert.log file. Lastly, these directories and several others, as well as their locations, can be viewed by querying the v$diag underscore info view. Now viewing the, the locations of these files is undoubtedly helpful, but invoking the actual ADR command interpreter helps DBAs with the analysis of these files. The ADR command interpreter, or ADRCI, is the command line utility that comes with ADR. This utility acts as the middleman between the DBA and the directories of diagnostic information. The ADRCI provides the DBA with a range of views, including viewing diagnostic data, reports, and alert logs. It also allows them to package related diagnostic information to send to Oracle support. The show alert command is a powerful and frequently used command among DBAs. Below you can see some examples of this command, which can be tailored to show exactly what the DBA is looking for. Searches can be modified to search for and order by time, problems, incidents, problem keys, and many others. ADR identifies a problem as any critical error that has occurred while using the database. Each problem is usually associated with an aura error. DBAs often search for these aura errors through the alert log files. ADR also assigns each problem a problem key and then individually tracks it. As mentioned earlier, each problem is assigned a problem key. The key is a text string that contains the error code being referenced and any possible parameters. Problem keys, however, are not unique, and any two or more problems with the same root cause will be assigned the same problem key. Incidents help ADR solve this problem. A problem often comes up multiple times, so Oracle creates individual incidents for each time a problem occurs. It then assigns a unique incident ID to each of those incidents. Oracle also packages each incident with a timestamp along with other diagnostic information in an incident package. When an incident occurs, the Oracle takes the following steps. An entry is made in the alert log file. The incident is sent to the Oracle Enterprise Manager. Oracle gathers diagnostic data about the incident. An incident ID is assigned, and both the incident and the get data gathered about it are then stored in the incident subdirectory of the ADR repository we talked about earlier. In order to create an incident package, Oracle uses the Incident Packaging Service, or IPS. This service collects da diagnostic data as well as other information that may be relevant to the incident. The IPS is configured to only include relevant information, which can then be easily packaged and sent to Oracle support. If configured improperly, 
Oracle support will receive an overwhelming amount of data and will be unable to help. An unchecked problem could presumably create several hundred incidents or incident packages. This could clog up the system, severely slowing down performance as well as creating space constraints. The incident flood control system is a feature of ADR that recognizes this pattern and has thresholds that when reached will prevent such a thing from happening. Once activated, ADR will stop creating packages of diagnostic data and instead simply make alert log entries as well as record the incidents in the ADR. These thresholds cannot be adjusted and are listed below. When five incidents occur for the same problem in one hour, or when 25 incidents occur for the same problem in one day. This has been an overview of Oracle 11G's Automatic Diagnostic Repository, ADR, as well as ADR Command Interpreter. Listed below are my references. Thank you.